Hi and welcome to my science tutorial. In this video, we are looking at pH, pH scale, and pOH. Let's get started. pH, we say, is the negative logarithm of H3O plus concentration. So, mathematically, pH is equal to negative log of H3O plus concentration. So, the square bracket tells us it is the concentration. Okay? Now remember log, log, log base A, B equals C will be expressed as A exponent C equals B. So if we if we want to find the concentration H3O plus, how do we express that? That means that it is going to be H3O plus concentration being equal to 10 exponent minus pH because the logarithm here is expressed in base 10, okay? Now, the same thing goes for what is known as POH, POH. For POH, we are considering the concentration of hydroxide, and so we'll write negative log of OH minus concentration, OH minus concentration, right? And so it's the same, same thing for this one, we'll have OH minus concentration, to be equal to 10 exponents minus POH, okay? So that is the expression. Now we have, we have what is known as pH scale, pH scale. So let's put that here. What is pH scale? pH scale, um, it expresses the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution. So usually it is represented with a line. So if we take this and then this, at the center of it is usually refers to as seven. Now what you have to know is that pH ranges from negative values all the way to 14. But usually on the scale we are going to show from zero, yeah, zero to 14. Now when it is on seven, we say that solution is neutral. So a neutral solution will have a pH of 7. What if the pH is lower than 7? If it is lower than 7, if it is going below 7, we say it is acidic. If it is going above 7, we say it is alkaline. Alkaline or basic. Okay, we'll say it is alkaline or basic. So that is the pH scale. That is the pH scale. Now let's consider the pH of pure water. Let's say pH of pure water. Pure water. Now remember we said KW is a equilibrium constant of water and it is equal to the products of H plus concentration and hydroxide concentration which is given as a value of 1.0 times 10 exponent minus 14, minus 14. So that is KW. Now, from this expression, we know that in the equilibrium, we have H plus concentration to be equal to the OH minus concentration. If these two are the same, then let's call it X. Now, in a case here where they are multiplying, then we will say that KW is equal to x times x, which will give us x squared. So what if we want to find the value of x? What it means is that the value of x is going to be the square root of 1.0 times 10 exponents minus 14, right? 1.0 times 10 exponent minus 14. So x is going to be 1.0 times 10 exponents minus 7. It's going to minus 7. So this is going to be the concentration of H plus for water. It's going to be the same for OH minus 1.0 times 10. It's going to minus 7 molar. Okay. Minus 7 molar. All right. So basically, this is, this is the concentration of H plus and OH minus in, in pure water. In pure water. So what then is a pH of water? Uh, remember we said pH is equal to negative log of 
H plus concentration. And so this is going to be negative log of 1.0 times 10 exponent minus 7. Now, this is going to give us what? 7. Okay. So water has a pH of 7. That is why we say it is neutral. We say it is neutral. So how do you calculate pH from H plus concentration? Now, let's look at this. This question says calculate the pH of the values for A. For A, we have H plus concentration to be equal to 1.0 times 10 exponents minus 12 molar. Now, we said pH is equal to negative log of H plus, which means we have negative log of negative log of 1.0 times 10 exponents minus 12. Now, looking at this value, this is far above exponents minus 7. So we know that this solution is going to be is going to be basic. So when you punch this in the calculator, what will you get? You are going to have 12. So this is 12.0. Yeah, so our pH is equal to 12, telling us that that particular solution is basic. It's basic. Now, what about B? B is telling us that the H plus concentration is equal to 5.60 times 10 exponent minus 6 molar. Now, if you look at the value here, you can see that it is below times 10 exponent minus 7. So we should be expecting something lower. So pH will be equal to negative log of H plus. And so we have negative log of 5.6 times 10 exponent minus 6. So what do we get for this? We are going to have pH to be equal to 5.25. So you can see that right there. So that is how you calculate the pH when you know the H plus or hydronium ion concentration. Okay. All right. Now, let's look at this. Always remember that the P in the pH is telling you to take the negative log of a quantity. Okay, it is telling you to take the negative log of a quantity. So when we have, um, we said pH will be at negative log of H plus. POH is going to be negative log of OH minus. Now there is another one, PKW. Which is going to be what? Guess what? It's going to be negative log of KW. Um, <laughs> forgive me for bringing a square bracket. Can just write negative log of KW. Now, there are many more that we are going to see in the subsequent tutorials. But let's look at this. When we take the KW expression, we said we have H3O plus concentration times the OH minus concentration, giving us KW. Right now, what happens if we take the logarithm of both sides? We take the, the negative log of both sides. Remember, this is multiplying, so when we take the log of it, it's going to be negative log of H3O plus, and then plus we take the negative log of this also, so it's going to be minus log of OH minus, and then we we'll have minus log of kw right now minus log of anything is telling us p to the power of that ph and this is going to be at minus log of oh minus going to be p o h and then we're going to have this to be at p k w now we know what the value of kw is we said it is 1.0 times 10 exponent minus 14 so PKW is going to be negative log of 1.0 times 10 exponents minus 14. And so this is going to give us a value of 14. So if that is the case, then we can conclude that pH 
plus POH is equal to 14. All right, so from this expression, we can find POH if we are given PH. And then we can also find PH if we know the value of POH from this expression. I hope this video comes in handy. Remember to like this video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.